So much like writing, cooking is a form of self-expression and a great way to celebrate this morning. So we're going to do that right now. Now, allow us to present the perfect recipe for the next time you need a hearty warming dish for a weekend afternoon. Slow-cooked lamb shank with dombolo. Yes, they are just as delicious as they sound. Ah, chef. This, this is emotional. This is a cracker. This is emotional eating. Th you this just, is special, man. This, this is so comforting. It just makes you happy, makes you feel good. And it's like, you know, the biggest thing about lamb shanks is the fact that they take about two and a bit hours to cook. Mm. We're using the easy to cook Woolies lamb shanks. They've done the leg work. The leg work. The, <laughs> the, the, the tenderness is there. The flavor is there. This is a great way to kind of fast forward the process, but still get all of the payload at the end. Absolutely, absolutely. And we know that Woolies, all their lamb is free range. Mm -hmm. We know this. And the gravy that comes in there, it's uh, like a like ultra rich velvety rosemary and garlic mm. flavor. So even if you don't do anything else with it, you've got that amazing sauce in there already. Okay. Just, but, and it, it cries for something to dunk, like a dombolo, <laughs> just, you know. Right, Or okay. a pup or something, you know? So, super simple. Like, I mean, I'm trying to make this more complicated so I can, I can <laughs> seem like, I'm really talented Doing at this. Something. But, okay. but you're chefing. You're just a glorified package opener and, and oven putter. In I there. am. <laughs> but that's the thing about this because you can kind of because you're not you're not doing the hard work, but you still feel like you're doing yeah, the work. You, you at least still feel like you're cooking. You, yeah. you do. So even if you're not a really good cook. This makes you feel, this gives people confidence. That's what I love about the easy to cook range. Mm. People that feel like they're not that confident in the kitchen, actually when they, when they present a roast, they kind of feel like, I did that. So you this know, the next us, time yeah. they're in the kitchen, they just feel a little more confident. Okay, cool. So we're gonna keep this packet of gravy aside because we're gonna use it later. And it's not like a little sachet of gravy. It's yeah, a proper no, amount of gravy. So we're gonna use that. Enough for the dunkage, enough to, you need to, that. You to need that. really get okay, the sauce so going. Yeah. Take it out the bag first, okay? okay? Put it back in its tin and it goes into the oven. Okay, boom. I'm not gonna put it in the oven out, we got one that's done yeah. already. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna make an extra bit of a gravy to go with it. Okay. Super simple, is it heat on? Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Olive oil goes in, and while the pan's still cold, we're gonna add our garlic. When you add garlic to a pan and the oil's really hot, it's like what happens to me, you burn. start sealing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By doing it when it's cold, as the oil starts to heat up, it takes on the flavor of that garlic. Mm, and then the oil eat. then spreads that flavor around everything else. You got it. Perfect. Right, to that, we're going to add a bit of salt. I don't, like salt I've been thinking a lot of it. I think when we, the last time we made a curry, you were quite explicit about the oil carrying the flavor through everything and why it's so important to cook. And now I think about that constantly, about how are you flavoring the oil, because the oil is going to carry that flavor throughout the rest of the dish. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why you, you can't get that intense flavor with curries if you don't have that oil in there. So. Next thing, that's mm. going to start cooking. It's starting to sing. It's really going to smell really delicious. I mean, garlic just frying on its own is just always it's just like magic, man. You know, if something's you... about to happen. To that, I'm going to add some tomatoes. Cool. And tomatoes are great because they, the mommy in them, and then you still got the mommy from the shank. It's going to be so and good. And it's a balance with a nice sweetness as well, which I like, which is, I think, essential for this kind of sauce with a lamb shank. You want that balance of umami and sweet, and, mm -hmm. you know, it needs a little bit of everything. If you want this recipe, you can find it on woolworths.co.za. And we um, know that any tomato-based dish, also curries, they taste better the next day mm. and the next day, which is really great about this dish. We, don't, we never waste the for goodness sure. in there. That becomes our decanter. And you just get a, a bit carrot. of that tomato <laughs> sauce in there. Cool. I love pepper with lamb. It's already, mm. the lamb's got pepper on it already, but I want to amplify it even more. Are you like, people are a little shy when they do pepper that, and mm. then they walk away. No. no, no. And also, a pepper and tomato for me. I mean, give me a right? tomato and pepper, and I'm fine. Like, I'll, I'll often have that just as a. So I'm going to, I like keeping these tomatoes kind of whole. Just kind of breaking it up a little bit. So that's going to start doing its thing. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to start working on the dombolo. Okay. And these are so delicious and so simple. What is a dumpolo? Is it a dumpling? It's a dumpling. Is it a roll? Is it a, 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 it's a dumpling, hey? It's a dumpling and mostly steamed. Mm. And what happens is because of that amazing stock that you got there, it just takes up all that and flavor. Soak it up. Okay, oh. so you've got some dough that's already been Dope. proved and amazing. And Look you want at it to be, that. that. That's impressive. I just want to... Just want to... It's, got, it's beautiful, it's man. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm going to ask you to roll some balls for me. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what size. I'm okay. just going to see how you're feeling today. 
I, I don't even know. This is like, and it's got some nice elasticity going there. Hey? Well done. Okay. To, to mine, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, a little, a little bit, bit of yeast mm -hmm. to the flour. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to prove it, like you've got there. Going to do, uh, the most important thing about the bolo is you do need to knead. Uh, okay, you've got to give it some You've got to give it some love. Some affection. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's a ball, and it's a. Can I teach size. you something? Yes. If you want to get a perfectly round, smooth ball, yeah, you gotta bring out your Tiger King. Okay. okay. Show me your Tiger Claw. Ah. There we go. Pop your ball down on the table. Okay. So ah. use your Tiger Claw, and then you just ah, ah, ah. and just kind of keep the ball of dough. Oh wow! Wow. See look that? at that. Hey, the Tiger Claw. There you go. Okay, cool. Water goes in, and ah. you give it a good knee. Ah. Perfect. Looking... Look at that. I now, love that. You, and when you become good, <laughs> when you, you become can, good, thanks, man. When you, <laughs> you can use <laughs> two hands. When you progress, oh yo, wax your, on, wax off. Can you even? <laughs> okay, so basically, a simple dough. I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Knead this together, bring it together as a dough. <sighs> Get Graham Richards to come visit you at home. Tiger he will claw. roll out your dough for, for you. It's Women's Day. It really does look like Happy. different sizes, but there we they, go. they look great. Happy Women's Day. Graham Richards will come to your house <laughs> and roll your dombolo out for you. And I, I will do it with absolute pleasure. Okay, so... What am I doing with my dombolo? You just hold happened? it. Just hold it. Talk to them. Okay. <laughs> Love so, you, little guy. You're so, great. You're a little bit smaller, but you're, gonna, you're destined for great you're things. You're going to grow. You're destined for great you're things. You're going to grow up. So, okay, so now you're adding... The gravy that we kept aside, that goes into our beautiful tomatoes that are cooking away. You could, like I said earlier, I'm keeping them chunky. You could break down the tomatoes if you want. Mix that in. I've got one lamb shank that I cooked earlier. The other one's on display. Okay. That goes into the pan with all those juices that are remaining. Ooh. That goes in as well. Because that's where the flavor is. Yeah, that, that's the gold right That's there. the gold. That's the absolute gold. And then you yeah. get Graham Richards' beautiful dombolo, and you put them in the pot. Okay. So now my... Guys, now, guys. see, now he's perfecting it. Now he's like, no, these need to be... Now I understand. And I can just pop them in, eh? Pop them in. And pop the lid on. Oh. What's going to happen is it's going to start steaming. It's going to start cooking. Ooh. The balls are going to cook. They're going to rise. Ryle's in, like, stalking because Ryle knows <sighs> what's up. He knows it's going to be good. So, Buddy, Ryle, come in here and have, have a look, taste, have man. A look. You've earned the right this morning. I feel like you've... Sure. You've worked hard, Graham you've done Sun, exercises. You... Clem Sun. I couldn't resist. It looks so, so good. Hey, oh. there's and layers of flavour in there, buddy. Layers I know there's only two layers layers in there layers. now, but we'll make more. So yeah. there's enough for everyone. Please, because I need to get, steal that keep and going, keep going. my family, because they're going to have, have a little taste there, bro. Put a, put oh, a dombolo yes. and some lamb yes. shank in a bowl and have a taste for us, man. Put the proof in the pudding here. Take a big bowl, yeah? You go for it. You I just want to try. I've never tried this before, eh? OK, go. That's amazing. Yeah. So let's see what... All the fuss is about you get some sauce in there. Graham's well. now on it. He's, he's trying to perfect his rolling skills. <laughs> Ralph's tasting the oh. dombolo. It's hey. warm, it's uh -huh. soft, it's yes. moist, there's flavor, there's love. Yes! This is a woman's day meal like no other. It oh, is, damn. absolutely. My, and then, my like dombolos said, are getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> uh, I'm just warning you, <laughs> by the fine. end of this, it's going to be okay. like... <laughs> Quick tip, if your pan does run dry, add a bit of stock to it, but I don't think it will. It's looking really good. And, and how long do you need for the dombolo to cook through? Not even 10 minutes. You really? don't want to overcook it. 10 minutes, once they go nice and big, they done. They done. Perfect. Absolutely. So South Africa, if you want Graham Richards to come to your house this morning to roll your dombolo, just, just, I mean, call us. I don't know what the number is. Just, just call us. This, or, this. or Graham's cell phone number. 083. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, this is such an easy dish to make. And the flavors are so satisfying. It's still cold. We're not saying goodbye to winter just yet. This one will just warm you, like, from the soul yeah. to the outside. You just feel good. You feel amazing. It's a hug from the inside out. If you missed any of the steps, take a look at this.